Hello, it's Melinda from Alexis and Melinda's Art Space. I hadn't been to the reject shop for a while, I had to return some library books, so I decided to have a look at the reject shop. And a look cost me um, a little bit of money, but that's okay. It's my early birthday present to me. So I grabbed a pack of these pens last time, and they're called Super Gel Pens. They're $3 for a pack of two, but they write beautifully. Got a blue and a black one, and Alexis it says writes up to 800 meters. That would be interesting to get a piece of paper and measure it out, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be a fun video? You could just watch me write a line for 800 meters. Um, <laughs> wonder how they work out at runs 800 meters. God. Um, so yeah, they're my favourite pens at the moment. So for a dollar fifty, I grabbed some more of those. They're great to write with. Then I had a look at their Christmas stuff. And someone showed these. Someone showed these on YouTube already. Yeah, I'm trying to remember her name, and I can't. No, if I find the channel, I'll link it below. Um, but this is a festive foil statement sticker book. They come up with some fun names. So it has five sheets of stickers, and I believe the sticker books were... Bear with me two seconds while I grab a receipt. Sticker book, sticker book, sticker book. Sorry, I obviously bought too much if I can't really find it. Oh, they're $4 each if I can't find it. Quick learn the receipt. Oops, <laughs> that's really hard to tell. So it's got five sheets in it, so I thought they were really cool. So they're foiled. I'm attempting to get some Christmas crafting done in the next few weeks. Because I know December is going to get so busy. We've got my birthday coming up, we've got Alexa's birthday coming up, and we've got Christmas coming up. Oh, busy time of the year. Does it ever get quiet in my life? Not at the moment. So I love those stickers, they're cute. So they'll be great in either my scrapbooking or just crafting in general. Then I grabbed the festive foil statement book. Okay, it's the same. Same title, but these ones are all gold and these are a bit smaller. They're clear stickers, which I loved. Um, are these ones clear? Yes, most of those are clear. I think all those are clear too. So I love the clear stickers because I don't particularly like the white-backed ones. So I've got lots of different sayings and things, so they'd be fun to stick on projects. I love all the different fonts and things. Reminds me of the Me and My Big Ideas sticker books and the alphabet. Not so hot about the alphabet, but we'll use it. And some bigger words. So they were $4. Then I picked up two... Um, festive die cuts and I believe these might be the same as last year I think I've goofed I didn't get I think I only got one pack of each last year so that's okay if they are the same the journal cards were definitely either very similar or the very the same because I had the cat and the dog in it and I see the cat in here um, I should have gone back and looked at last year's video but that's so the die cut packs are four dollars this particular one you get 98 pieces, so I won't flip through the Christmas one. If you want me to, I will, but yeah, I'm very much positive they are the same as last year. They were really hard to find. They were tucked behind all this Christmas stuff at my store, was tucked behind other stuff, and it was really hard to find. I had to go digging to the back of the shelves, which I always do at the reject shop, because they just stick new stuff at the back and old stuff in the front. And I'm onto them. I look at the back of the shelves. So I'm assuming this one couldn't find any paper this year for Christmas. Apart from the paper pack um, I got last year, which was the 12 inch pack and it wasn't very nice. Did find some new stamp sets. Now, I found this one to start with and this is really cool. I don't have anything like this. I like the line and then I like that you can hang your own baubles or stockings. And it has different sayings. I don't have a lot of Christmas sayings. So it's got warm wishes to you and yours. 
and my long time subbies know how much I love card making so a lot of these you can put together so making spirits bright Merry Christmas Noel big hugs warm wishes to you and yours X X X with love with a warm heart these holidays so I thought it was fun with the stockings as well and the little baubles you could hang hang on it and then this one I got mainly for the sayings because I don't have a lot of Christmas sayings and as I said my long time subbies know how much I love card making now I really hate it and I'm not good at it but everyone tells me I'm okay at it gonna try to make some handmade Christmas cards this year so I needed some saying stamps good excuse so the stamps were quite reasonably priced hang on a minute they're only two dollars fifty each which is cheaper than they have been I think they were normally three or four dollars so we'll look at stamps for two dollars fifty so that's an awesome bargain for this many stamps then I grabbed three glitter sticker sets I was almost go excuse me I'm struggling with yawning tonight and I'm not tired okay These were $3 each, so I almost passed on these, but I thought Peace Noel and Joy in the red glitter would be nice. Got to have some Rudolphs. I do have some from last year or the year before that are smaller, and the green trees are... I thought they'd be great layering. I don't know, I just grabbed them. So they were $3 each. It's a shame they only have one sheet of stickers, but that's okay. Then I looked at the normal Christmas stuff, and I know I've said I'm going to go make some cards but I couldn't pass up these cards look at the unicorns on them I think the same lady showed these as well um I can't remember her name paper dream someone it's Michelle from Melbourne um but I can't remember her YouTube channel I'll link it below but I love the unicorn like you could cut that out and use that as an embellishment or cut it out here or something or cover the Merry Christmas magical Christmas up I thought these might make great little flip books or journals or something. So you've got the two different cards in there. And I might... I did grab two packs because I really didn't know what I was going to do with them. I thought I could even paper toll, like cut out different layers. Cut out a second unicorn and stick it on the front of a card to do something with. Um, but I'll just open this pack quickly. So you've got... You get ten... 10 cards per pack, so you get 5 cards and 5 envelopes for $3, which is awesome. So that's 30 cents each. So they're a bit thin, but they've just got Merry Christmas on the inside, blank on the back. But I thought they were cute. And here the unicorn with Santa. So I thought they were quite adorable. I'm sort of getting into the unicorn thing at the moment. And then I found the matching little greeting tags. So the top two here match the big cards. I wish they had this one in the big cards. I looked, but I couldn't find one. So these were really cool. These were $2, and you get 16 pieces. So you must get four of each. You do. You get four of each and a little bit of cotton in the back. But I thought, again, that'd be good for embellishments and things. They almost look like stamps in that little oversized stamps, but they would be really cute. I do usually pick up some of these that look nice for crafting and I do have quite a stash that I usually pick up after um, when they're 75% off but I grabbed these because I thought if I leave them and don't get them then I'll be sad so I got two packets of those and then I found these these are just oh these just oh aren't these just so cute oh they were two dollars for a pack of eight and I want to open these Giant tag, giant character. And I possibly should have got a second pack of... Whoop, there you go. Santa wanted to jump out of the pack. Possibly should have got a second pack, but I may go back and get one. Um, it won't be till next next week, though. So let's open these. Where did I open from? Come on, come out. So these are just... The cutest little things. They're like bookmarks. And they've got oh their heads a different thing and then they've got why have they got a big glue dot on the back? Big like hot glue dot. Weird. I don't know. But oh isn't it cute? Isn't the elf gorgeous? Oh excuse my fingers, I was crafting before. So the elf and the snowman. 
and the reindeer aren't these gorgeous embellishments I could see these in a journal or you could use them as a tuck spot or a, like just glue them down one side so you end up getting eight for two dollars that makes them what Well, four for two dollar, four for two, two, two to be a dollar. It'd be twenty-five cents each. They make. Oh, I can't do maths tonight. So they are just awesome. I love these. Possibly should have got a second packet, but aren't they just gorgeous? So I can't wait to turn these into something. You almost don't have to turn them into something. These are just gorgeous. So yay for those from the reject shop. I can just see them down the page of a journal or down the spine and oh. Or an art journal page. I might even photocopy them for that. I don't know. I just this the, the the reindeer and the elf just got me, and they had to come home with me. Yeah, snowman's cute and Santa's cute, but these are just really really cute, especially the elf. Seems to be a lot of elfy stuff around at the moment. Um, so that is my reject shop Christmas haul. Let me know what you're picking up from the reject shop. I'd love to see. I like to see what people do with things. So stay tuned, and I hopefully will get. And make something with the unicorn cards. It's on my to-do list. My to-do list is like yeah, like Santa's list. Very, very long and not enough time to do everything. Oh, that's rubbish. Um, but I will catch up with you again. Bye for now.